Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to the Minion Motor Show. Told you guys I'd catch you on the flip side, and I basically catch you on the flip side every time I make a video. So, as you see the bike now, as it is, this is basically how the bike came when I bought it, with the exception of the stickers, of course. And this guy's a good guy, too, Joshua. Cherick on YouTube and Moto XJ on YouTube. Good guy. Good friend of mine. Lives a couple hours from me, not too far. About two hours from me, if that. Maybe an hour, 15 minutes. So, this is going to be the first part of the video. And you'll probably, this, it'll be two seconds from the time you see the bike now to the time I put the new parts on it. And you'll see it with the new parts on it. And I'll continue the video after that, but the, today's, you know, part one. And then I gotta go get, I gotta, I'm waiting on the parts right now to come in from my buddies at DTS, Gavin and Elizabeth. If you aren't already, go follow them on Instagram. It's called DTS Palm Springs, all one word. Look them up, give them a follow, tell them I sent you there. And uh, if you can't remember who it is, look in my, uh, on my Instagram posts. You'll see their stickers and whatnot. Uh, DTS Palm Springs, I'll, I'll put them down in the description box below. But uh, I want, before I show you what I do with this bike, I want you to guess what I do with the bike. You already know I got the new tire, you know I got the uh, stickers on there, you know I put the red power valve spring in there. But what I've done to this bike, which you'll see in a couple of seconds, your time, is going to be a major difference on this bike. I mean, so. Pause this video and take a guess at what I did to the bike before I show you what I did to the bike. So, or I'll just stand here for a few seconds. So, okay, anyways, can you guess what I've done to the bike? Well, you can't guess because so far. I haven't done anything on the bike. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna nonchalantly turn around here. Then when I flip back around, bam, <laughs> you'll see a difference. All right, so I'll see you in a couple of days, but in your time, it'll probably be about two seconds. So if your guesses are correct, they're correct if they're not they're not so when I turn around here you'll see the difference so have you guys guessed what I did with the bike if not it's all right just go ahead and take your guess I'm going to show you the bike in three two one Katow. <laughs> there's the bike got the black front brake disc guard black fork guards white fenders and then the white with the black shrouds here white with the black inserts here I could have gotten all white but I wanted to keep the go with the black and yes I put the American flag and the Gadsden flag on both sides I'm still waiting on the guard don't worry I'm not riding with it the I'm waiting on the bracket for the guard so I'm I I'm not riding it with it like that I'm just Put it there so you guys can see uh what it would look like but uh yeah you know i kind of like the bike tell me what you think in the comments what you think about it because uh i like it the black and the white yes the uh, kind of looks weird with the orange frame but you know what i like it i like it a lot all right but uh yeah it looks good and uh 
yeah I have another Rockstar energy drink sticker I'm probably gonna slap it right here on the fender what about your sticker minion I'm not whatever I'm not concerned about it and then uh, I have some uh, ex a service stickers that came with all the plastics I think I'm just gonna put like one maybe on both sides of the rear fender right here if this is going to be a wide enough spot for it you know i might put one on both sides of the front fender i'm not sure i don't want to have too much yellow on the bike because it kind of clashes with the uh the orange the rockstar stickers are one thing and the gadsden flags another thing one thing as well but the service would be too much and if I don't know if you all see it but I got a train sitting right there there's a ass end of it and I don't know if you can see it but straight down where the little light is there's the front end of another train there so but uh yeah great shot of the bike I I I can't I love it DTS you know did an amazing job they you know got the parts here for me real quick and i i took me about an hour and a half to put the parts on just because like i'll give you an example the front fender i literally had to take the number plate off because it's got two little prongs that stick down right here and then there's two bolts right there and then there's two bolts underneath so that took a minute and then because these are brand new plastics these things are basically flat so they don't have any uh, curvature to them so I literally had to you bolt the do the two front bolts first the top bolt here the bolt underneath the gas tank and then I had to do the two bolts here underneath the seat and that KTM I love you guys and I love this bike but dude whoever designed your shit I don't know if it was high or something that day but why would you have to take this you know unbolt the side plates and take the seat off just to get to the I mean I don't know if all the bikes like that are nowadays or like that but damn dude I gotta take half the bike part just to get to one part but anyways I ain't complaining. I love this song, bitch, man. Especially with that red demon valve in there. Holy shit. And the rear fender here, it's kind of weird. It's got two bolts here. And then you got to take the uh, bolt out for the uh, muffler there on the side here. Then right about here, there's two more bolts here. One on either side. And then again, I got to get underneath the seat because there's two more bolts right there. Which is kind of good, I hope. But trying to get that that fender inging out of there is a pain in the butt because I literally have to take the entire side place off. But I kind of like doing shit like that because in that way I get to know the bike a little bit better by tearing the thing apart and seeing what's going on with the whole thing. So, anyways. Thanks for watching the Ming and Moto Show. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and turn on post notifications. But tell me down in the uh, comments below what you guys think about it. Alright, bye.